Well, hello again. Welcome back to Artistry by Rita, number 26. Don't give up. Persevere. It'll all work out. Watch this video and see. Hey, guys. So I am going to... I have some leftover Dutch pour paint, and I thought, oh, I should really paint with it. This pearl pour is made up of three ounces Artist Flow White, one ounce Deco Satin Enamel, five ounces of Floetrol, and four to five ounces of water. And I'm gonna paint the edges first. The colors I'm using today, and I'm hoping they won't turn out Eastery. <laughs> Lately, that's all that seems, so I threw in a darker. This is Artist Loft, Deep Magenta. This is Artist Loft uh, Violet with a sort of iridescent medium. This is Artist Loft Violet with, look at that color, isn't that pretty? With, uh, I have to add some more water to that. A little bit of um, Cobalt Blue, Artist Loft Cobalt Blue, which this is Artist Loft Cobalt Blue. And this is Sharon Williams Payne's Gray because just like Prussian blue, I can't seem to get any of it. So I'm using it, it's what I got. And those are, um, you know, pretty thin. Pretty thin. Now, this one, I might need a little bit more water. Just a squirt. Just a squirt, a few drops. See what happens and this is my cobalt okay okay so as you can see i have sped this up and i'm putting some of the paint on the on the sides and around the four or five edges of the canvas and here i am putting on the colors one on top of the other and um, once again, this was a pearl pour mixture made with satin enamel, but it was older. And um, as you will see later on, it did not work. But watch till the end. Something so beautiful came out. Guys, don't give up. Sometimes you just have to play with the painting and persevere and keep going. So there you see, I put the colors down first and then I put my white cloud pour pearl pour on top which was thinner and this is sped up I clearly went a lot slower than that a lot slower and you know here I am getting rid of all the paint I didn't put a lot on as you could see and it was fairly thin and really nothing happened Nothing really happened there. And as I say in the little everywhere, mama not happy. And I thought, okay, let me try to, you know, um, play with it a little more. So I put on the colors and started to do a spatula swipe. I put my spatula swipe my spatula and my cell activator, which I always have handy, black, oxide black, Mars black, Amsterdam, one part paint, five parts Floetrol, and I also have the white, always ready. And here I am, just really randomly, you know, with an eye on the prize. You wanna put it down with some thought, but I am, gosh, why do I always do squigglies? If you know the answer and you can get into this mind, let me know. And there I even just put some black cell activator and put it right on the, the, the paint that was there. I did not put any paint down. And started creating a colors that way because what was there before was not my cup of tea. And now I'm playing with the white cell activator. Really? Okay. I just went to town here because I figured, what is there to lose? Play. 
just play. And, and I think I went back to my black because the white just didn't sh show up enough. And so I integrated all my colors back into the top of the painting. I actually love swiping. It's kind of my new favorite thing. I guess because A, I get to interact more. Not that you're not interacting every other way, but it's just uh, you have more of a hands-on approach to me. And here I am spinning it. And guys, this was majorly sped up. Do not, do not <laughs> spin this fast. Disclaimer, you will have paint all over your house. And okay, now look at that. Like that's really pretty. You have to admit. So here, which is what I always do, I start to play. And I didn't do a lot to this one actually because it creates some nice colors, cells, gradients, when it was being spun. And I'm gonna take you in for a close up and I won't do the voiceover there. I'm just covering my corners, making sure that they look, and I'm gonna try this on a larger scale because I actually really like the way it turned out because you had a background now so doing in that lay in the layers and then putting colors on top and scraping it I really like that idea and I'm sure it's been done a thousand times not claiming to create anything here guys just um, saying that I discovered something new for me and it's sort of a bloom-esque but it's not, it's the, it's not at all, but it's got lacing and it's got cells. Sorry, <laughs> gotta get studio lights clearly, but okay. I was gonna swipe this, not swipe it. When I mean swipe it, I mean take it all off. But look, just with cell activator, And this may still continue to change. Look at that. Can we call this a fake bloom technique? <laughs> With very thin paint. Look at that. Probably went too close there with the um, torch. But look at that. And span it, spin it, span it. How do you say spin in past tense? I spun it, I spun it. <laughs> I spun a cope with it. And I love that. I mean, it's like, um, water paint. Crazy. Anyways, just goes to show you have to persevere and don't chuck it just because. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's all about perseverance and just keep going. Please take a second. If you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Insta, TikTok. Ciao!